also subscribe if you have it, okay? You're gonna love me, love me, love me, love me, love me, love me. Let's get into it. So, number one, you want to visualize yourself as you want to be. So, whatever it is that you want to be, whether you want to lose weight, whether you just want to be a more confident person, whatever it is that you want to be, you have to see that first. So visualize that. What exactly do you want to be? How do you want to change? That's the first thing. Number two, speak positively to yourself and about yourself. Anytime that you say something about you, it should be positive. So instead of saying, um, I'm impatient, say, I'm working on my patience. Or instead of saying, I suck at something, say, I'm going to get better at it or I'm working at it, you know, always speak positively about yourself because you have to understand your tongue has a lot of power and what you say, you will eventually believe. So you have to put positivity out instead of negative, you know what I mean? So don't ever speak down to yourself, okay? Speak more positively. Even if there are things that you are lacking in, it's okay. There's another way to say it. Be careful how you speak about yourself because you are one of a kind. You are precious and there's nobody like you. Don't forget that. Number three, kill negative thoughts. I know, I feel like it's natural for us to have negative thoughts. I know that I definitely have negative thoughts. But when I'm starting to think negatively, I start to think positively. I try to, um, you know, adjust my thinking. So I'll catch a negative thought and I'll say, uh-uh. Let me think more positively. You know what I'm saying? Like, let me not look at that situation in that light, but more so look at it as a lesson or um, as a way of helping me grow. You know what I'm saying? So, killing negative thoughts is a huge thing. Um, it's just as important as staying positive. You know what I'm saying? And a way to kill negative thoughts is by doing something productive. Stay busy. You know what I'm saying? You have less time to think about the negative when you're busy doing something that you like to do and something that's going to benefit you in your life. Number four, set yourself up to win. So when I say that, I mean put yourself in a position that you have no choice to win. So I would say the first thing to do is set goals especially short-term goals because if you can set a short goal and accomplish it you'll feel better about yourself which in return will help boost your confidence so set goals short-term and long-term figure out where you want to be what you want to do what do you want to get done and work towards those things do research and always be open to learn there's so much to learn in this world and we'll never be done learning so whatever it is that you want to do you know find out about it find more about it find other people that enjoy what you like doing you see what i'm saying there are facebook groups there are websites and apps and blogs and youtube videos and so many resources that you have to learn about what you like doing and there are people that have accomplished what you want to accomplish so Put yourself in a position to learn and you'll always win because one thing that nobody can take from you is your knowledge. Number five, change a small habit. So whether that's to stop smoking, to wake up an hour earlier, to go to sleep an hour earlier, drink more water you know start a journal where you write down your feelings something small that helps your day in a positive way is always good and you're gonna feel good about it as you go throughout the days and you notice the difference that that change has made whether it was something that you stopped doing or something that you started doing number six care for yourself so when i say that i mean 
really get to know yourself you can write down some things like what are some things that are good about you your personality your looks uh and what are some negative things about you right because knowing yourself is the best thing even if you're not confident yet you have to understand your strengths and your weaknesses whether physically financially whatever it is um write it down and make it clear so that you can boost your positives and pull your negatives into your positives you know what i'm saying work on your negatives to better them it's all about uh enhancing ourselves and embracing where we are currently and understanding that we're not perfect but we're working on you know making ourselves better also groom yourself so if that's you know brushing your hair or flat ironing it or doing your makeup do things that make you look good because when you look good you feel good get a haircut get your nails done shave your legs whatever it is that makes you feel better that you have to understand that you won't feel better until you actually take action number seven take pride in your abilities and achievements now this kind of connects to the previous thing where i was talking about write down the positives this is something good because you can when you think about all the good things about yourself it makes you feel good so whether that's being a good friend or being able to give good advice or um, being good at a certain skill, looking at that and really focusing on it, it'll help you out, you know, it'll help you think more highly of yourself and you should be proud of every good thing about you. You know what I'm saying? If you're a positive person, be proud. If you're strong, be proud. If you know how to save money, be proud. If you are a loyal person, be proud. If you're patient, be proud. There's so many things that you should be proud of. So take your positive list and be proud of it. If you graduated high school, be proud of that. If you graduated college, that's something to be proud of. Just find things about you that you've done or things that you are, things that you can do and take pride in it. Seriously, you should. Number eight, smile more. I think this is so important. Even when you don't want to smile, smile because it really does something for you. Go look in the mirror. You might be going through it. You might be sad. You might be feeling down about yourself, but smile. And back to one of the first steps I talked about, speak positively to yourself in the mirror. That was one thing that I did to um, help me boost my confidence. There was one point in time where I wasn't as confident. I was actually insecure. And one thing that helped me was to look in the mirror several times a day, smile when I didn't want to, and say something nice about myself. That really helped me. And even if you don't believe what you're saying at the time, you know, like, I'm beautiful, or I'm handsome, or I'm strong, whatever it is, say, speak things as though they already are. And even if you don't believe them at the time, over time, it will become true and you will believe it and it will physically shape itself. It will take form and it'll happen for you. Number nine, be grateful. Be grateful for whatever it is that you have. You have had things that you've learned, people you've met, experiences you've gotten to experience. Be grateful. Be grateful for the life that you have right now. Be grateful for the breath that you have. Things may not be perfect, but you're alive. You're able to chill out and watch this video right now. Be grateful for the small things. Be grateful for being able to walk, for being able to talk, for being able to eat, for being able to go outside and smell the fresh air. You know what I'm saying? Whatever it is, take pride in your life and be grateful for the small things okay and my last step for you guys is to exercise now whether this is taking a 30 
30 minute jog or a 30 minute walk do some type of physical activity because exercising does so much good for your body and if you want to lose weight or gain weight you know by lifting weights or whatever whatever it is you want to do or maybe your body is perfect but to you you know but either way doing some physical activity is going to make you feel good i'm going to speak on this briefly i'm actually losing weight right now i don't know if you guys can tell but i've been losing weight for four weeks now and i've been working out i probably worked out maybe every day except for like six days in the last 34 days or something like that so i've been working out a lot and it's been making me feel so good i think much more positively about things i feel better about myself i have more energy i want to get up and do more things being physical is just very important um and your body releases dopamine and it, there's just so many things so many good things about working out and if you want to find out exactly what those things are you can do a little research but exercising and you know really getting some physical activity in definitely helps and i know this wasn't a part of any of my 10 steps but sit up yeah sit up girl or boy sit up good posture practice good posture practice smiling and having confidence you know uh really grabbing people's hands i mean i don't really know how much hand grabbing we should be doing right now but when you shake somebody's hand they should feel your confidence people should know you have confidence before you even open your mouth it should just show in the way you walk you take prideful strides be proud of who you are there's only one you and though you're not perfect nobody's perfect i'm not perfect and all of my flaws i embrace it and i say you know what i'm still beautiful there's not one person on this earth that looks like me that acts like me that has my heart you know what I'm saying? That has my personality. There's nobody else that that has everything that I have. You know what I'm saying? There's no other person that can mimic me. Well, it's people that can mimic me, but they can't do it like me. You gotta have that confidence. Like, you can't do it like me. You cannot be me. That's one thing that nobody could ever do is be you. So take pride in that. It's a beautiful thing individuality is beautiful so i hope that i was helpful to you guys um these are some things that i've used over the years to help me build my confidence and um i hope that you know it touched you in some type of way i want you to know that you are beautiful and you are one of a kind and i love you if there's anything that i forgot in this video please feel free to comment below also let me know if i've helped you with this video let me know what you're gonna start doing what did you learn from this you know have a little conversation with me i know that there's a lot of people out there that don't have that don't have you know a lot of confidence so that's why i made this video so feel free to talk to me i respond in the comments i'm here for you i am your friend and i care for you okay guys so i'll see you in my next video